I honestly am not kidding you when I say that aging is our superpower. Like the sturdy daylily, true friendship has strong roots and life that remains and grows in abundance year after year. But like all things in nature, neglect it and it will surely die. Welcome, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to stop by for a few minutes to have this conversation with me today. I really appreciate it. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're part of this community and you've been here for a long time, thank you so much for coming back to talk with me today and spend some time. Now, I know you think maybe I have lost my marbles when I say that Aging is our superpower. When I look through my comments, we are very fortunate because now we have a lot of younger women with us from the ages of 18 all the way down to 40 that have joined our community, and I'm so happy to have them. But I have noticed in their comments, they keep asking me, I was so afraid of aging until I started watching your videos. So many of the younger generation somehow are so afraid of aging. I want you to think, when you were younger, did you ever fear aging at all? You know, I never really thought about it. But I think today, because of social media, because of Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and of all of the filters that the young women can put on their, their pictures and videos today, it gives a very unrealistic look at, you know, not having wrinkles gives. It's okay to have wrinkles, girls, it is. And they will come no matter what you do, they will come. Maybe some of them will be deeper than others, but you cannot avoid having wrinkles ever. They will eventually catch up to you. But I think that this young generation, unfortunately, has the pressure of being perfect on them. And I know, you know, I'm thinking back, if I had that kind of pressure when I was younger, I would be miserable. <laughs> I really would be. I would be looking, you know, to find every gray hair that popped in my head and I'd want to be perfect and I would feel that I was not worthy if I didn't have that perfect face or figure that I see on all these girls on Instagram. What a horrible, horrible way to try to match up yourself with something that is absolutely not real. It's all fake. Everyone has imperfections. No one is perfect physically at all. It just isn't real. I think it's kind of like uh, in the years when we had movie stars as idol, idols and we get our movie magazines and the cosmetic industries, they were you know, starting to boom and they would show these untouched or uh, overly touched pictures of movie stars, Lana Turner and all the beautiful women Catherine Hepburn that we would see and oh their faces looked so perfect and their lips were so beautiful but how did we know that all of these things were retouched by the studio so today I think it's just a magnification of what we used to see in the 50s 60s and maybe even the 70s young women out there and for all of you who are afraid of aging, it's going to happen, happen, but it is awesome. It really can be really awesome if you accept it and if you lean into it. If you think, and if you're for 50 or 60 or beyond, and you think of all that you have learned and the wisdom that you have gotten since you were that young 
a woman of 20s who had no um, background and no really smarts to know how to navigate yourself through life. And it's so much easier now that we are older. And I know that this adage that I'm saying is not just a rallying cry for all of us older women to feel good about their, themselves. It really is absolutely true. The qualities that we have gathered over time really are wonderful and they are helping us navigate life and be a little bit more relaxed than when we were younger. Isn't that true? I know that now I feel more prepared to navigate the hurdles in life than I ever did when I was younger because I have accumulated enough life experience to realize that I can work through it and this too shall pass. Nothing is forever and whatever I am going through, I know that I will be able to tackle it because I am pretty smart right now at my age that we can work through it. I think that's one of the greatest things about being older is that all the wisdom that we have taken in throughout the years, we can use now to help us navigate life and make it just a little bit easier. Age has made me a better leader or a better mentor to my children and my grandchildren because I have had those bumps in life and I have navigated through those bumps in life and I know that everybody has them. But I also know as I said before, that this too shall pass. We have to pay our taxes, and once we're gone, we are gone. But everything else is fixable. It really is. And when you are our age, you realize that, don't you? You really realize that you can navigate because you have all of these smarts that you have garnered throughout the years by trial and error. And also, I want you to think about this, and I think, I'm sure that you feel this way too. Age has made me to have a sense of a more purposeful life. I have been able to get my priorities straight, and I am have the ability now to realize what is the most important thing in life that I want to do. I don't have to go out there searching and thinking about it because I know through life experience, I know just exactly what my priorities are and I don't have to find them. I know the issues that are really meaningful for, meaningful for me and I know the things that I can just let drop by the wayside and not be concerned so much about. When you are younger, you have all of these mountains ahead of you, and oh boy, do they seem tall. I remember trying to climb mountains that I was faced with in my younger years, and, and it really was horrible because I don't think I had the strength. Well, I had the strength that I had to get, but I really don't think that I had the self-esteem to realize that, yeah, I can do this. I can achieve this. I can get over this. But by the time we have lived so much, don't we realize, hey, you know, I can tackle this and I know what I want to do and I know what things that I want to achieve in my life. I know what I want to do most days that will give me a purposeful existence. That is all part of aging, isn't it? It really is being able to choose our priorities, know what is important to us, and to try to live a better life each and every day. One of my subscribers in her 60s said after her losing her mother, everything in life has to have meaning for me now. Everything in life has to have meaning for me now. And I found that so profound. And in one simple sentence, she basically 
said it all. That is part of the pleasure of aging. You realize how important life is. You really understand how important each day is. And that everything in your life has to have meaning now. And one thing that I would have to add before I close, and I will say this to our younger subscribers in this community. If your life and your achievements have been based on your good looks and on your physical appearance, then as you age, you will become an empty shell. Because beauty and self-worth has to be a combination of everything that you are, not just your physical appearance. And if I can really impress upon anyone, whether you are 18, 34, 50, 60, or 80, you realize that beauty is just an empty shell. And if you have relied upon that beauty for everything in your life to get the things that you think you want and you need, then when that physical beauty fades, you will feel an emptiness like nothing else in your life. I know now, even though I don't look like I used to, I know that I am still worthy and I deserve the best that life can bring. And so do you. Thank you so much. I appreciate my whole community. I thank you for being here. And as you know, I read every single comment that you write. Uh, unfortunately, because I'm getting so many, I'm not always able to answer everyone. But I want you to know, I honestly do read every single one and I take them deep into my heart. Uh, Arthur is doing fine. Um, he's, you know, coming along all right and we're able to work our schedules so that he is happy and then I'm able to do what I have to do as well. But thank you all for asking about him as also. I really appreciate it. We are, after all, a family. Please be good to yourself today and do something wonderful. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. And of course, let's all share the love and also let us pray for world peace. Thank you and I hope to see you again in my next video. Take care.